It's been four weeks since Hurricane Irma ravaged through Florida, and the University of Miami is back on its feet. But of all the areas on the Coral Gables campus most damaged by the storm, this could be considered ground zero, the Arboretum, a living museum full of trees from all over the world, and students are still picking up the pieces. It was a reaction of heartbreak to see so many of the trees that were down, but it was not a feeling of hopelessness. Meet Steve Pearson. This is a beautiful tree that is coming out. He's not a student here, but he spends more time in the Arboretum than most students do. With a big bloom, that's Cassia fistula, otherwise known as the golden shower. For six years, he's kept a watchful eye over this garden as its official keeper, building it and preparing the exotic plants for storms like Irma. It was fine. It was, it was tied up to a stake. It had three white posts. He's talking about a rare tree from Africa, now gone. But it wasn't the hurricane that did it. Most of the damage to the Arboretum happened in the days that followed. I arrived at 7.50 on a Thursday morning right after the hurricane, and there was a crew of 15 construction workers just going crazy in this area. Bulldozers. Crews of workers trying to remove fallen debris from the roads next to the Arboretum. It was just, you know, wiped off the face of the earth. In an effort to clean up the area, incomprehensible damage. I hear it been a 10 foot henna bush. Many of the trees Steve worked so hard to preserve, run over by bulldozers. It was fine from the hurricane, but when they were bringing a bulldozer here, it just, it was gone to lose them is just, it broke my heart. And with a broken but hopeful heart, Steve takes to the garden again, replanting, bringing the Arboretum back to life. With help from students coming on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to help him restore the living museum. It makes me feel good. One of my missions since becoming uh, the director has been to try to get undergraduates more involved with the Arboretum. And one tree at a time, that's exactly what he's doing. And to me, the immediate effort should all be about, you know, how many trees can we save? Giving students yeah. the chance to breathe life into life itself. From the Gifford Arboretum, I'm Erica Orstad, UMTV.